welcome to the forest. This is Matt from Indefensive Plants and today we're going in search of the elusive white walnut. Now the story of this tree is rather tragic, but it is one that plays out far too frequently with North American trees. There's rumored to be a large specimen in this forest in particular, so with any luck we might find it. So come on, let's go see if we can. Ooh, check this out. Now I know it's not a plant, but it deserves honorable mention. This is a giant puffball mushroom, or at least the fruiting body of it. The rest of this organism is associated with the soil and the decaying wood that we see here because it is indeed a detritivore. It's one of the many species that are decomposing dead and decaying material, mostly from the plants themselves, and turning them into soil. This is a good sign of a healthy forest because when you have healthy soils, you have healthy plants. Look at the size of this thing. It's like the size of my head. Now these are edible, although you decide whether or not you want to eat them and take that risk. <laughs> Regardless, this is a really neat find and you look around, I think I could see a lot more of them. Nice! This is good. Just tells me we're in the right direction. These? are the fruits of the trees we've been looking for. Notice their shape. They're more like a football than they are a round nut. Now these are old, but with any luck, the tree that produced them is still kicking. Look at the size of this tree. What a mass of old oak. Imagine the stories this tree could tell. This is an old bur oak, and with it being one of the slowest growing oaks in the eastern United States, this tree is easily well over 100 to 150 years old. It's incredible, and it looks like, yeah, this year it's produced a bumper acorn crop. Now it gets the name bur oak because of the little fur or projections coming off the cap of each acorn. They're really charismatic of the species, as is this rugged, intense bark. It's also very fire resistant, so you tend to often see this in areas with a strict fire regime. Hey everyone, we found it. The species we come looking for today, the white walnut. I've only ever seen an individual three times in my entire life, and this might be the largest one ever. I am so excited to show you this, so come on, let's go look at it up close. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet the white walnut, or as many of you probably know it as, the butternut. It's amazing to see one this size. This might actually be the largest specimen I've ever encountered. Now, this is easy enough to identify. You just have to know what to look for. The bark on this species, especially as it matures, gets gray to almost silver in coloration. The leaflets all have a haze of hairs around them, and especially in the winter, if you can get yourself a twig, look at the bud scar. Just above that, you'll see a band of hairs. It's very characteristic of this. If you find fruits, like we did earlier, they'll be long and oblong, more like a football than they are a round nut itself. This is an incredible species, but unfortunately, seeing ones like this are getting rarer and rarer. And if we go around to the other side of the tree, I'll show you why. Now you see this wound right here? This is a canker that's caused by an invasive fungus that was likely introduced from Asia. It was first discovered in Wisconsin, but it's since spread throughout the entire range of this tree. It gets into the vascular tissue and causes these sores or wounds that the tree tries to heal, but over time it effectively girdles the tree, starving it of things like nutrients and water, and the tree itself dies a slow, painful death. It's a real shame, and it's likely the cause of most of the decline throughout its range. In fact, in the south, it's estimated that in a few decades, these trees will no longer exist. So it's another victim of our global movement of species around the planet as we create worse and worse invasive species problems. It's a real shame because I absolutely adore this tree and it sucks to know that pretty soon finding it might be a thing of the past. <laughs> 